Let's continue looking at our bag of marbles that we've been using in our previous examples, where we had 16 white marbles, 20 black marbles, and one red marble for a total of 37 marbles in the bag. Now, in this time, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at probabilities of picking two marbles from the bag. But this time, we're going to use a different process that might make more sense to you, and that's picking without replacement. What does that mean? I'm going to make a first pick from the bag. Then I'm going to hold that pick, hold that marble, and then I'm going to pick another marble from the bag for the second one. What that means is once I've picked my first marble, the bag has fewer marbles in it and it's going to affect the probability of my second pick. Let's take a look at a couple of examples of how this would work. Let's suppose that I want to find the probability of picking a white marble followed by <clears throat> A black marble. In this case, I'm going to, I need two things to happen at the same time, white and then black, so I'm going to multiply by two probabilities together. When I go to find the probability of picking a white marble, there's 37 marbles in the bag, 16 of which are white. So this becomes my first probability for my first pick. I'm going to multiply this by the probability of my second pick, which is going to be the probability of picking a black marble. Now this time, Notice that because I'm holding the white marble that I already picked, there are now only 36 marbles in the bag. So I'm going to lower the bottom number of my probability by one. How many black marbles are in the bag? Well, I'm holding a white marble, so that hasn't affected this, but it, there are 20 black marbles in the bag. So I can do 16 over 37 times 20 over 36. and end up getting 16. something here on my calculator, 16 over 37 times 20 over 36. You get 2.402 or 24.02%. So the idea here, when we are not replacing, is we're changing the probability base set for the second pick, and that's going to affect the probabilities. The term that we use for this is called conditional probability, because whatever we do first is going to change or affect the probability of whatever comes second. Let's suppose that I want to pick two marbles again, but I want both of the marbles to be white. In this case, I'm going to pick first, I'm going to, and I want to pick a white marble. There are 16 out of 37 white marbles in the bag. When I go, and then I'm going to hold that single white marble. When I go to pick from the bag this next time, there's one less marble in the bag because I'm holding one. This time, however, I want to pick a second white marble. I'm already holding one, so that's not 16 marbles in the bag white marbles in the bag anymore. There's only 15 remaining. And so this ends up affecting both the bottom number of my probability as well as the top number of my probability, where this one wasn't affected because the white marble wouldn't affect how many black marbles were still in the bag, but it would affect the total number of marbles in the bag. In this case, do my 16 over 37 times 15 over 36, and I get 0.1802. Or 18.2% chance of that happening. So, this is that concept behind that uh, conditional probability. Keep in mind that with probability, order does still happen. So, let's suppose that I want to find the probability of, pick, of ending up with both a white and a red marble.
how is this different than like the white followed by black? Well, remember probabilities have that order that's inherent with it, which means if I want the, to end up just with a white and a red marble in my hand when I'm done, I might have picked the white marble first. Or I might have picked the red marble first. Each of these represent one of those, some of those equally likely possibilities. And so I end up with these two probabilities and either one of those are going to be able to work. Either I picked white then red or red then white. And so I'm going to end up needing to calculate each of those probabilities separately and recall that or is going to indicate that addition idea. I could have this probability and or, or I could have this probability instead. So how does that work? If I pick white and then red, there are 37 marbles in the bag, 16 of which are white. When I go to do my second pick, I now only have 36 marbles in the bag because I'm using these all without replacement. Um, and there's only one red marble in the bag. So 16 over th 37 times one over 36 gives me my white then red probability. Now, I, because I just want to end up with white and red and the order doesn't matter, picking red then white is also a possibility here. In this case, if I pick red first, there's 37 marbles in the bag, one of which is red. And then if I pick a white marble second, there are 16 white marbles in the bag, but there's only 36 marbles in the bag altogether because I'm holding the white one or the red one that I picked already. So this becomes my probability calculation for this. If I do 16 over 37 times 1 over 36, I get 0 0.012. When I do 1 over 37 times 16 over 36, I end up with 0 0.012 as well. And so if I add those two probabilities together, I end up with 0 0.024 or there's a 2.4% chance that if I pick two marbles, not replacing them, when I'm done, I'll have a white marble and a red marble in my possession. So this idea, again, with conditional probability, think about does the second pick end up being affected by the first pick? Um, and one application where this kind of concept without replacement um, and conditional probability can come into effect again is with cards. So let's look at some specific um, playing card examples in our next video.